Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here at 3D Universe. Just doing some experimentation with a new model called the Flexi Hand, and I uh, wanted to share some information about that. This is a uh, proof of concept, not really a fully working prosthetic, though it'd certainly be easy to uh, turn these concepts into one. This was developed by a man named Steve Wood, who's the founder of a company named Gyrobot LTD. And uh, what I found interesting about it was the use of incorporating flexible filament into these hinges. And uh, that flexible filament sort of handles the return motion on the fingers so that you don't need a second set of cords to handle that return motion. Uh, the uh, cords that run through the model in order to cause the fingers to contract, uh, according to the instructions, those are supposed to be made with flexible filament, which I tried. And um, I, I wasn't convinced that's the way to go. The flexible filament has a, a little too much give to it. The, the instructions do call for pre-stretching that filament as much as possible, which I did. And that does help to stretch it longer so that it doesn't have as much remaining elasticity. But uh, I found that there was still too much elasticity in it, such that the finger certainly closed okay, but not with a lot of uh, gripping force. So I actually replaced the flexible filament running through the, the channels with, with uh, standard uh, cord, like what's used in the other uh, models out there, like the Cyborg Beast. And that seems to me to, to work much better. You, you can get a, a much uh, tighter, tighter grip on it. Really, there's a lot of strength in this, which is something that I think is interesting about the model. One of the advantages that I see here is when you, when you look at the design, all of these stress points uh, really seem to be within the hinges. And uh, the, the hinges themselves are made out of this, this flexible filament. I'll take one out in a little while and show you a close up. But the nice thing about that is that that flexible filament, like I said, is, as much as I've tried, I can't get the stuff to break. It seems to be pretty near unbreakable stuff. And so that flexibility combined with that strength really seems to work nicely uh, in, in those joints where all of those, those tensions are, are occurring. So uh, this really might have some interesting potential in incorporating this into uh, some of the other designs that are, that are already out there, or modifying this one. So, you know, again, the idea is that these, these cords, the single set of cords, pulls the fingers in, the thumb in, and then the elastic joints automatically bring the fingers back to their original position just because of that elasticity. So uh, again, the, the, the hand itself is, is pretty much one solid piece there, uh, shaped very much like a human palm, nice curved design, which is uh, very, uh, has a very nice aesthetic to it. The, uh, the thumb and uh, the fingers themselves are, are divided into the different phalanges, and uh, like I said, have that flexible filament in the middle. So really, the, uh, the plastic parts don't really get a whole lot of, uh, of forces that would cause them to, to break, it would seem, in ordinary use, which is, which is why this seems to have some really interesting potential. Um, now, the, the, obviously, the design would need modification, because there's nowhere currently to actually mount this. This would have to be uh, modified into a design, uh, much like the, the Cyborg Beast or the Talon or those others out there that would actually fit into a gauntlet, and perhaps using Owen's tensioner system, uh, and uh, I think you could have something really, uh, really interesting there. So. Okay, so here you can see a little bit closer up uh, the, the cords go through, sort of loop around through the fingertip and they're tied off underneath. Uh, one of the advantages of that flexible filament was that because of that elasticity, that knot would then retract inside of that channel, so it was nicely hidden. Uh, that doesn't happen with the cord, but I'm sure there's a better way of tying that off so that uh, it could be better hidden. Uh, as you can see, the, there are these uh, joints in the middle there, made out of the blue flexible filament. I'll go ahead and, and slide one of these out so you can see what that looks like. So they, and they fit in there pretty, pretty tightly, but they're not hard to get in as far as the uh, different phalanges are concerned, like the one that I'm doing uh, now, but the, getting the fingers onto the base of the hand proved uh, to be pretty difficult, and uh, that, that could probably be improved. But uh, this, is, this is the design for the, the hinges. It's uh, essentially got a, a bulge on each side that uh, holds it in place, and then the, the part in the middle is the part that, that flexes. And uh, like I said, it's really quite strong. So I've uh, been pleased with that so far in the, in the testing. So that, the, the design of the fingers and the way that they uh, slide into the, the, the hinges is, is really nice, because it basically just 
slides into the channel there, which makes it really easy to put in, and then likewise slides into the, the channel on the, on the next phalange. The challenge is getting the actual base onto that hand there. Uh, it's not designed to be slid onto it like the others. It has to be pushed onto it and if you use a flathead screwdriver to sort of cram the, the, the hinge into there and it's uh, quite challenging. So I think that could be improved maybe by incorporating this type of a slide uh, design. If you, if you left a, a, a spot on the side for that to slide in, maybe covering it up afterwards or something, that might be uh, uh, preferable. So this, of course, could be finished much more nicely. I, I, I started to, to do some sanding on the, on the palm, and uh, as you can see, didn't really uh, finish that up. Uh, it, would, it would benefit from some final sanding and a coat of, of good uh, urethane, but uh, since this was just an uh, initial test, it didn't, uh, didn't bother with that part yet. But uh, the design is quite nice, as you can see, pretty realistic looking, uh, with the, the fingertips uh, nicely designed, and, the, uh, the shape of the hand itself, and uh, like I said, those the flexible parts create some uh, interesting options. You'll notice no hardware anywhere in this design. There's no screws, there's no nuts and bolts to worry about. It's those flexible uh, uh, filament parts that handle uh, the, the function of, of what that hardware would have done. So that's quite interesting as well, because you come closer to uh, a hand that is entirely 3D printed without needing anything other than what your printer can produce, aside from this point the cords. Alright, so that's all I got for now. Um, thanks to Steve Wood for the excellent design and I uh, look forward to uh, working with this further and, and seeing what the community can, can do with something like this.